Now prana, also known as chi or ki, is sacred life force energy. It is energy. It is how we are able to breathe. It is how we are able to do what we do. It's how we're able to exist. In this reality, it holds the constructs of reality together. It is, it is deeply woven throughout reality. It is the energy that forms reality. And so you'll find prana throughout all of the elements. So we have the element of earth. Prana is how the element of earth is able to move, is able to grow, the trees, the grow through the pranic life force. The element of earth, as with all of the other elements, it is a divine spirit. And then we have the element of water. Prana is how the water is able to move, is able to flow, it's a pranic life force. And then we have the element of fire. Once again, prana is how the fire is able to move in the way that it does. And then we have the element of the air. And in the same way, we have the wind. The air is able to move through pranic life force. And the same applies for the element of the ether. We are able to tap into the element of the ether. We are able to harness the element of the ether, direct and work with it through our pranic life force. So when we build our pranic life force and we build our chi, it can greatly assist our capacity to tune into, to tap into, to harness the fifth element. 